five dog farm. Nikki D and Mr. Blue Jeans have been taking notes from the homestead community and they've been sharing their trials and their multiple errors as they transform 60 acres of raw Tennessee land into a self sufficient homestead. They have a website with a blog and a, a merch section in case you like even more personal interaction. But where are the dogs? There's got to be at least five of them, right? Well, yeah. At least five. <laughs> now, here's the secret. It used to be called, we're only getting one dog farm. And that sounded too cray-cray. You know, they tried. They just keep coming farm. <laughs> that didn't sound right either. And then they arrived at the channel name they have now. At least part of that's true. <laughs> five dog farm isn't just dogs, though. Nikki D is in love with a donkey. Wait, she just said Bonnie the donkey is having a burrito. <laughs> That's interesting. And there are mucho, mucho critters at Five Dog Farm. You'll see some of them in just about every video. And there are lots of how-tos and how-we-dos. Tip Tuesdays, for instance. Five Dog Farm loves learning from others and sharing what they've learned, like in the garden. They use their raised beds to grow things, to eat, and to use in other ways around the farm, as well as essential oils and other homeopathic products. There are also food preservation methods that you may not even know are out there that probably your grandparents used, like preserving dirt <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> and cooking. There are some interesting recipes they share at Five Dog Farm that kind of round out the entire homestead experience. So if you want to see multi-generational family establishing tons of raw land, take five and watch Five Dog Farm do the work. The Pumpkin King, Indiana. I know what you guys are thinking. Here's some dude who has crowned himself the master of millions, and there's just going to be wardrobe malfunctions and shenanigans from here on out. And part of that would be correct. <laughs> but first, let me tell you, this guy goes cuckoo for tractors. That's his garage right there. <laughs> no, really. Some people get happy playing with these, but I saw the Pumpkin King Indiana drooling over a bucket wheel trencher the other day. I know a tractor fetish when I see one. <laughs> I don't think the Pumpkin King has ever met a tractor he didn't like. Red ones, blue ones, old ones, new ones. The only thing that taints his love of tractors and implements would be... Yeah. Okay, so all these tractors... And you have a severe lack of interest, huh? Well, he is the Pumpkin King. And he uses a tiny little tractor to manage a tiny ton of acreage filled with, you guessed it. Because those magic melons are a huge crop for them. The Pumpkin King Indiana has a lot of experience dealing with all things melon, all things squash, and pumpkins. So you want to talk squash bugs or pumpkin thieves, <laughs> probably pumpkin chunkin, or the Massey 1130 tractor that he restored? Uncover what the Pumpkin King Indiana has in store for you. Glenda Plus Four. Glenda Plus Four is a channel that features positivity and encouragement wrapped up in videos of easy to follow recipes and meal ideas and lots of visits to the garden. In the garden, hmm, Glenda has placed lots of heat tolerant plants in the garden, especially like cacti and succulents. And she shares really good tips on how to maintain and care for the succulents and help them thrive. On Glenda Plus 4, not all the plants in the garden are succulents or cactus. And, you know, not all the plants on Glenda Plus 4 are Glenda's. Glenda takes us through quite a few botanical gardens and even different parks to experience natural beauty outside her own garden. At home, when she isn't showing us the varieties of cacti and how their many characteristics create a feast of the eyes, she shows us other little things in the garden, like the birds and the butterflies and things like that. 
Speaking of feasting, though, there are recipes and how-tos or, or even some of the different ways to serve familiar foods. There are some dishes that a lot of us probably would best enjoy on her channel, but not trying out ourselves. So if you're into upbeat and positive uploads full of delicious recipes, a lot of them are Filipino and Asian recipes. Or even just looking at those prickly little prant, uh, prickly little prants. <laughs> prickly little plants that's what i'm trying to say i'll get it out check out glenda plus four 60 dogs on 60 acres or something like that antique tractors and giant pumpkins positivity sunshine and succulent recipes are these your people <laughs> 